How would you feel about uh, this program and the team's direction today as opposed to the day you guys played Kansas State in that bowl game? A complete 180. Um, you know, it's been amazing to see the transition and the amount of people that have bought into what we're doing. Um, it just, I mean, just to see the guys' excitement to come here every day and simply work out. I mean, that's, that's it's not the funnest things to do, but like our guys are enjoying it. We're enjoying being here. Uh, we're enjoying being together and we really couldn't ask for much more, but the transition has been awesome. Um, hasn't been, you know, smooth the whole way, but that's, that's part of a new staff, new transition. Accountability is a word that keeps coming up. Um, so, uh, without naming names, have guys have kind of learned the hard way. Oh, we, I was late for a meeting and I paid for it. I mean, is it that, that sure. kind of learning yeah. thing? Yeah, I mean, it's that's one thing Coach Kelly has just been harping on is accountability. I mean, I know you talked about the standard board and, and the questionnaires every day, every day, and things like that. Um, and there's really no no pushing something to the side. I mean, if you're late, you're late, and you're going to pay the consequences. If you don't show up for something, tutoring class. I mean, it. Everything's mandatory, and it's either there's no getting around it. You, if you don't do it, you're going to get caught. So uh, I think you know some guys may have previously have been able to get through it, um, and I think now they know it's. I mean, uh, we have to all be accountable to each other. Miles, how has your body reacted to this strength conditioning program being out for as long as you have? Is the surgery like all of it? Do you think that you're bouncing back pretty well? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, I I feel great. My arm feels great. Um, you know, I've. I've gotten it back into shape. I've lost the way I need to lose. You know, I, I physically feel really good. And, um, I, you know, as spring goes on, it'll, it'll get better, and then summer, and then fall camp. So um, I, I've made huge strides. And, uh, you know, I went into work every day in the weight room and, and out there conditioning and knowing where I wanted to be. And um, so I'm just I'm appreciative of them giving me that opportunity. With the left arm, is it more mechanically when you're throwing a football that you've got to get used to it? I mean, has that been the biggest hindrance? Not really, to be honest. Like, I, I honestly, I, don't even know it's there anymore. Um, and so it's, uh, it obviously makes it easier. And so I'm really just trying to focus on getting the muscles around the bone stronger just to be able to protect it. I mean, the plate's still in there, so I'm not really worried about the bone breaking again, but just want to make sure I have that, that strength in that arm. The, the strange injury that you suffered in Missouri, uh, you feel like you're ready to get hit in that area? It totally. Would be a problem totally. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I kind of I want to get hit. I kind of miss the feeling of, of what it feels like to get hit. So. Miles, that first day of spring practice, what were your expectations kind of going into it again with a new staff and new returning? It really was nothing new for me. You know, I mean, this is like, this is year six. This is offense five. This is offensive coordinator five. Go ahead, coach three. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's really nothing new. Um, it, I just was going out there and having fun, and, and it, was a, it was a transition for me, you know, learning the new practice schedule and, and how we're running, doing things. Um, but, you know, now, now that I understand what we're doing and, and what the mindset is for practice, uh, go out there and execute and, and have fun. How about working with Joe Sloan? He's, uh, he's a very intense guy. He, uh, he's always running around. I told him I need to get him some cleats, actually, to wear for practice, but he doesn't want me to. He thinks he'll tear his ACL. But, um, you know, he, I mean, he's, he's awesome. He's super interactive. Um, he's going to make sure we work. You know, we're not sitting on the sidelines with our helmets off drinking water. Like we're, we're working just like the rest of the guys are. Coach Kelly says it's his job to create competition. <laughs> totally. And so certainly brings in Jaden Daniels. This is another quarterback to compete. And so your, your mindset doesn't change? So. Not at all. I mean, this is yes, <laughs> quarterback competition number six. You know, so I, I'm used to it. I know, I know what I have to do. I've done it before. I've gone out there and I've played. You know, I, I've gotten the job done before. Um, so just making sure I, I you know, I, I get it done again, and, and I will, and I'm confident. I feel great. Uh, it's just another year, and we're all going to make each other better. You know, I, I believe in competition as well. Um, but you know, I, at the end of the day, as long as we make make each other better and compete, we'll, we'll be fine. Miles, talk. We keep hearing attention to detail. <coughs> Talking to Ali, he said, "Yeah, you guys had it previously, but it's not been harped on like this." Right. Can you elaborate? from a quarterback, what they're doing with you guys, attention to detail, because that's the one position that probably needs it the most. Totally. Tenfold. I mean, it's been, first off, Coach Kelly being in, like involved in our drills. I mean, that's something that I've never experienced with a head coach, is having the head coach like critiquing quarterbacks during their drills and him actually having the knowledge to, to coach us during our drills. Um, I mean, from footwork to arm slots, to arm angle, to throwing, to our drops, to, to weight transfer. I mean, it's just, it's been awesome. And I mean, between him and Coach Sloan, just having both of them brains piggyback off each other has been awesome. And I feel like, you know, we'll, we're going to make huge strides in the quarterback room from day to day. Can you talk about Walker Howard and where you see he's at today and where, how quickly you think he's going to be down the road? He's a great, great quarterback. And 
I saw huge strides from our first practice Thursday to today, and I think he did too. And so as, as the older guy, I'm just trying to explain to him that things are not going to be perfect, okay? I mean, he's he should be in high school. This is his first spring practice at the college level. Just just learn, you know, just just continue to learn, ask questions, like don't be afraid to make a mistake, just don't make the same mistake twice. And uh, I think he made huge strides, and you know, but in no time he'll be ready to play. Two more questions. Have you gotten any ribbing from the hip thrust video? Yeah, I have. <laughs> um, we don't have to go there. I love walk-ons, I love Brandon, love McKenzie, but uh, yeah, I'll stick to football questions. <laughs> when they told you to do that, did you, were you apprehensive? Um, it was a great video, and uh, I love those guys. So you're pushing to cut a new one. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make a new hit thrusting video. <laughs> do, do you um, do you look back at all the guys you've been here with, like Danny Yetling, and I mean, all these players over Definitely. the years? Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been crazy. That's uh, so what I mentioned, uh, Danny in the in the in the quarterback room, you know, a couple of days ago, and people, they looked at me like, who the heck is that guy? <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I guess you, you know, you were in eighth grade when I, when I was in a freshman here, but uh, it's been good, man. It's been super cool to be able to connect, still be connected with those guys, and especially the guys in my class, like you know, Jamar and, and Clyde and, and Tori. I just saw Tori and Ed and Austin, and all those guys. It's just been it's been super cool throughout the years to see guys and go on their journey.